YouTube, what is going on? Crowder here, and I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We are doing Berlin callouts. So we went over the Bo Cage uh, callouts or Bocage callouts, and you guys seem to really like them. You guys all commented below that you guys wanted me to do more. So we're moving on to the next map, and we're going to do Berlin. And then, of course, we have Gavutu, and then we also have Tuscan to do for you guys as well. So here is the Berlin callouts. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Use code Crowder in the creator store and all that for Call of Duty stuff as well. And yeah, let's get right into the callouts. Okay, so really quick, as I said before in the Bocage one, if you have not seen that video specifically, I'll say it again just for the sake of this one. This is basically a very basic roadmap for callouts if you are new to ranked play and you do not know exactly what people are saying when they're communicating to you in the ranked play games, or if you just want to know more general knowledge about the maps and stuff. So this is not going to be super, super in-depth specific callouts of every building, every window, and everything like that. You could save that if you have a team or you guys want to, you know, get more on the same page in that sense. But this is just basic stuff that will help you out a lot if you're new to rank play and you guys want to obviously get more familiar with the pro player maps with that being said we actually just spawned right here and we'll work from this building and we'll kind of move around the circle of the map and i'll explain to you everything of uh what the map looks like so this building right here we usually call this p3 because this is the third hard point so p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 all just means hard point one two three four and five for example this is the first hard point map in the game so this is p1 then the P2 is over in that building over here. Then the P3 is obviously right here. So we call this P3 right here. This is P3. And in P3, these triple windows are important. So we do call them triple windows or just trips or whatever you want to call them from there. And then you obviously have the back door, back windows. And then we call this the front door. And then we call this the fire door. And the reason why this is called the fire door, because this building is fire. You have bottom fire. You can call this like fire window if you really want, like the bottom fire window or corner, fire corner. You have top fire. Like, you know, fire tank head glitch. And then, of course, if you didn't know, you can go top third fire, which is up here. And this is top three fire. So this stuff is all good to know for fire building. That's fire door. And uh, we now have this building. So we have the P3 building done. We have fire done. And then here you have the street fire door. So usually you just call it street doors. You know, depending on like, obviously, if you're playing hard point, you kind of know what street door means. It's this one right here. And then you have the court door, which is over here because this is the courtyard stairs. And the reason why this is courtyard stairs is because we call this area right here with these two columns or these two things right here, courtyard. And then basically from what I just showed you, you have uh, basically all of this side of the map right here already covered. We're going to continue to work towards the P1 area. So go back up courtyard stairs because this is what courtyard stairs are. We are now in courtyard. And now this is P1. This is the first hard point of the game. So we call this P1, but this can get a little bit mixy sometimes. So this is P1, which is just like the middle of it. Right here, we call red room because it's uh, more on the red side. You know, the red room over here, the red window, because you can hop down the courtyard stairs. So this is pretty important. Uh, this right here, we just call these desks. So like they're behind the desk, they're behind the desks, or they're in the red room. You can kind of specify what side of the hard point they're in. And then of course, this is the outer window, which is right here. Because this is going to be called outer, this side of the, the hard point here. Outer steps, outer over here, outer window right here. So you have red room, P1, desks, outer door, outer window, and then outer steps. So then moving forward over here, we still call it outer. And I know it's pretty crazy because it's a very, very long strip of like, you know, call outs. But this is called outer glass, like from basically over here. To like over here is outer glass and the reason why is because we usually call this in glass so this is like this building right here is glass and we call like this the inner glass and we call this the outer glass and then you have the glass hallway which is right here so you can kind of just like specify like which ways they're coming from glass but if you just say glass your teammates will understand the direction of the call out and then obviously if you're really trying to get good comms you can specify inner glass glass hallway outer glass and then this doorway right here is this little secret doorway we call it secret so this is secret this is like the front window steps you know front window obviously this is the glass window right here so front window front window steps uh secret inner glass glass hallway outer glass and then you push out towards the train yard over here which we'll show you what the next set of call outs is all right so now moving over here which is, this is the p4 area so this p4 area is right here where it is in the train you can be back here you can be all over these trains you call this area just like p4 this tower right here is obviously going to be called tower. It, even though this is like 
the same thing when you say outer it's outer tanks because these are the tanks right here like the outer like, or the outer train head glitch depending on what situation you are on the map remember you're not really gonna be over like all the way over here when p4 is popped so you know what kind of what outer is going to mean and you're not going to be all the way over here when you're saying outer tanks because this is the only outer tank so even though outer seems to be pretty repetitive on this map and again you can totally change this up for your own team and your own comms if you really want to this is just again basic stuff that you can just say so the outer train head glitch these outer tanks you can obviously get in these outer tanks if you really want to and then you can do stuff from there like go in here and then you can crouch in them and do all this kind of stuff obviously top tower back here and then this is called back warehouse because over here we call this entire building warehouse this is kind of just you know the back warehouse in general like a lot of people like to call like this the clutch area uh for that beat if people like to plant bs and d like over there and people like to clutch from back here but we call this back warehouse back warehouse truck is just warehouse in general for the most part it's just top and bottom warehouse you don't really need to get too specific with this uh the only time this building is super super heavily used is in a uh, search and destroy other than that usually people are just running through it this flank responds or just spawning here and running out of it so we just call this warehouse which is pretty simple obviously you can just do the roofs and all this and you know kind of just circling over here we call this train room this is a pretty important room in snd but this is also a pretty important room people like to spawn here sometimes and like you know you want to call out the train room spawns this is train train room over here and then moving over towards the B, S, and D bomb. So this building right here is where B, S, and D is. So we call this B, S, and D. Over here, you can just call this like the B, S, and D, like the B, S, and D boxes or boxes. People call this boxes a lot of the times. And then moving over to the outskirts over here. This is going to be called docks because it's just like the lower docks, which is very simple. There also is on the top middle of my screen, it says docks. Right where it says current hardpoint, it does say docks too. This game does make callouts that not everyone follows, but yeah. So this is called docks. This is the street tank or the BS and D tank right here. We obviously call this entire side of the map the street side of the map because it's a long street. And then moving before we continue on out on the outskirts of the map, you want to move in here. A lot of people call this mail. Atlanta Phase calls it library. Uh, mail is probably a better um, call out for it, though, because it is just mail. It's one syllable instead of a couple of them. Mail would probably be the better call out. You'll hear on my stream a lot that I don't call this mail. I call this library. But this could also be considered P2 because this is literally P2, the second hard point. You have the back door over here usually whatever side you're coming from we call these secrets front secret door so it's like front secret over here and then back secret is back here there you go so this is back secret over here so the two secrets there are pretty simple and then staircases this is there like you know depending on what side you're coming from or if you want to say front or back staircase this would be front staircase this would be back staircase you'd have back secret you'd have front secret side door the p2 or side mail room doors and then obviously second story mail would be over here which is a very very important cut and then over here would be b domination because this is literally where b domination is on the map so b dom is this basically p5 area or p5 it doesn't really matter what you want to call it it's very very simple this is the fifth hard point so p5 or b dom and then of course third story right here is just called third because this is basically the only third story you're really ever looking at third story fire is a little bit more rare so third story is up here and the staircase is very important this is a power position on the map so you want to be able to call out third story because this is going to be something that you're going to see a lot of people using, especially this window, cutting off spawns and cutting off the map. Now that we have all of mailroom basically done, oh, these windows right here are just called dub windows. These two windows are a big spawn point when you're spawning in the back. Sometimes people are spawning over here and they run down and they obviously hit these double windows. So dub windows is also big for the P2 hill if you're playing hard point. Dub windows, mail, second story mail, front, back secret, front staircase, back staircase, second story mail third story and yeah that's basically all of mail room for you right there now moving along we have the lower docks what i just called out here we call this the middle tank just because it's more in the middle of the map and usually you're you know like this like the middle tank the middle truck pretty uh self-explanatory this is front uh front p2 doorway so front door p2 they're coming p2 to fire or they're going p you know p2 to tank p2 to middle tank p2 to middle tank that just means they're crossing from front door to over here. This is like the crane and the crane truck. A lot of people like to play this on like that P3 rotation or the fire rotation. So this would be the crane, crane truck. And then this back crane stairs, like, you know, I just, we usually just call this the back heady. People like to crouch on this and play like the back crane stairs head glitch or just like the back crane heady. So you can come back here. This is the back crane head glitch. This is important too. Uh, you can also, you know, trip windows is right here. So you can call this like the trip windows uh, trucks if you want. People don't really play these too much, but... You know just in general if you want to call that and then obviously you know you have the street door right here for fire and then the court door here again 
And then this is middle statue. Now, if I am correct, I'm pretty sure I just covered basically all of the map again. I'm so sorry. I know I just gave my uh, editor uh, a bunch of call outs and stuff to edit again. So hopefully I'm sure you can make it more organized than it probably sounded. But yeah, I think this is basically pretty much it. This would be considered front warehouse, last steps window. This would like, you know, he's coming from B-Dom. He's running straight through the middle of the map, like right there through B-Dom. Glass hall doorway. Yeah, glass hall. And then this would be glass hall windows if you actually see someone crouching on these windows, which is obviously a pretty good cut too. So glass hall windows is right here. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that would be Berlin basically in a nutshell. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. I'm just trying to run around the map and make sure I did. I don't think I did though. So yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out, get a little bit more organized on Berlin. Uh, you know, some of those callouts were a little bit more in depth and I know this is a basic roadmap for you guys, like I said, so you don't have to use all of those callouts. Uh, the basic gist of this is I want you guys to know that right here is P3. Then you have fire, then you have glass, and then you have P1, and then you have mail. Like, you have your basic buildings. You don't have to go super, super specific with, all uh, you know, trip windows, front side door, back door, all these doors if you don't really want to. This is just to help you guys have a basic idea of what's going on on the map. When people are giving you some comms on the map, well, obviously, when you're playing ranked. So, hopefully, this helps you out. If this does help you, again, please comment below if you guys want the rest of the maps. I'm probably going to end up dropping them anyway. But, please, your comments do help me a lot to see the feedback of these videos of what you guys like or if this actually does help you and what you guys want to see in the future uh, i am thinking right now in the future for some rank play tips videos i show you guys some basic spawns on uh you know hard points of where they're going to be spawning and just explaining to you kind of how the map works in general uh, at a very basic level you know nothing super super uh invasive with like you know pro player strats and stuff because obviously you know i can't go too in depth with that with my job but I can still show you guys some very basic things that although obviously everyone in the league knows and stuff so it would be too crazy so if that's what you guys want to see next please comment down below I'm going to be working on these videos all year for you guys to help you guys become the best players you can be please if you do like this again like comment subscribe all that good stuff we're almost at 64,000 subscribers or maybe we are at 64,000 subs by the time this video goes up but again I love you guys very much it's been your boy Crowder I hope you enjoy this video and as always guys I'll see you in the next one